Lawrence Memorial Hospital now brings you better health. Usually someone will have a history of having stones or some sort of gallbladder pain um, in the past and then they have a really, really bad episode that brings them in. It really comes down to how much, uh, how much it bothers you. You know, if you have, you know, some gallbladder attacks and you get a little bit of pain twice a year after eating, you know, your Aunt Marjorie's lasagna, then maybe you should stay away from the lasagna. Um, but it really, you know, people who have severe attacks and it really impairs their daily life, they can't eat, sometimes can't even drink, which is rare, but, um, you know, they want to get back to living their normal lives. You know, if they want to get their gallbladder out and it's a reasonable thing to do, uh, the next thing you have to really consider is them as a patient, how fit are they for surgery? This kind of standard old-fashioned approach is what we call an open cholecystectomy and making an incision underneath the ribs uh, and taking your gallbladder out that way. And that's the old-fashioned way of doing it and uh, the most invasive way to do it. The less invasive ways and kind of standard of care is laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which is taking your gallbladder out usually from uh, a small incision around the belly button and then two or three other holes underneath the right side of the ribs. Um, and then there's also, there's also ways to do it uh, with one single incision, usually through the, the belly button, um, and also robotically. And I think from a technical standpoint, as far as uh, safety and overall outcomes for the patient, I don't think you can go wrong doing any minimally invasive technique. Uh, patients who get their gallbladder out usually go home a couple hours after surgery if they have it done laparoscopically or robotically. Patients who get their gallbladder out through a big open incision stay in the hospital a few days. Um, but the, the decision to have surgery is you know, not a decision that I make, it's a decision that we make together. Uh, I've been at a lot of different hospitals uh, and this is, it's really a special place to work. All the nurses, all the doctors, everybody really truly um, just puts the patient first. And I think everybody here just has a positive attitude uh, and really wants to take good care of patients. And I think that uh, you know, the top 100 hospital is a well-deserved thing. And um, I've had family here. I've had friends' families here. Um, and I think they came to a good place.